Hello, I'm Brigadier General Garrick Harmon, the Commanding General of the United States Army Security Assistance Command. America's diversity has always been one of our greatest strengths, as people of different backgrounds and cultures share their unique talents and perspectives. Observances and commemorations are important because they give us the chance to reflect on our shared history as Americans and to celebrate the accomplishments and contributions of all people. For whatever our differences may be, our common values and love and country unite us all. It is my honor and privilege to introduce the guest speaker for this year's National American Indian Heritage Month Observance, Ms. Sheila Cummings. Ms. Cummings is a member of the Lumbee Indian Tribe and is the founder, president, and chief executive officer for Cummings Aerospace, a Native American and woman-owned small business headquartered right here in Huntsville, Alabama. Cummings Aerospace specializes in the flight science solutions and technologies for aerospace systems in support of DOD customers. Since its 2009 inception, Ms. Cummings has led all aspects of the corporate operations and strategic development for Cummings Aerospace. Her aerospace engineering expertise stems from her role as a government civilian spacecraft thermal engineer with the Naval Research Laboratory and later as a government contractor systems engineer on multiple missile defense programs. Prior to forming Cummings Aerospace, she led a $30 million missile defense business unit as vice president of a small engineering company in Arlington, Virginia. As we all continue to strive for equality and dignity for every individual, no matter where they come from, what they look like, or how they practice their faith, we have seen that America and its people have changed and grown remarkably throughout its history, but we can still see the spirit and the culture of the first people to live on this land that we all love. This year's theme for National American Indian Heritage Month is grounded in tradition and resilient in spirit. Our public affairs office sat down with Ms. Cummings to talk about the importance that theme has had throughout her life, as well as her work supporting disadvantaged youth in the STEM field. Today, I'm sitting down with Ms. Sheila Cummings, President and CEO of Cummings Aerospace, which is a Native American woman-owned small business. Ms. Cummings, thank you for being here with me today. Thank you, Rachel. It's a pleasure. It's truly an honor to be here. Great. So can you tell us a little bit about yourself and your background? Sure. Um, let's see, where should I start? Uh, I grew up in Pembroke, North Carolina, uh, as a Lum member of the Lumbee Indian Tribe of North Carolina. Uh, from there, I began my college career at the University of North Carolina at Pembroke, a small school in my hometown, and went on to achieve my aerospace engineering degree at the University of Maryland. Uh, from there, started my career in the defense industry with the Naval Research Lab as a government civilian working spacecraft technology development. And after um, almost 10 years in that field, transitioned to missile defense. And that is ultimately what brought me here to Huntsville, Alabama. And we're so glad you're here in Huntsville, Alabama. Uh, you mentioned you were of the Lumpy Indian tribe. This year's theme for Native American Heritage Month is grounded in tradition, resilient, and spirit. What does that theme mean to you? Well, it, um, it reminds me of the great traditions that we have as part of our Lumbee Indian tribe. Um, each year, for example, in July, we have a homecoming celebration. It's a, it's a week-long uh, event full of festivities, lots of food, <laughs> uh, Native American dancing, um, just family time. Uh, but for those folks who have moved away, uh, we all tend to come home mm -hmm. and celebrate. Uh, there's just um, a, such great um, time to just, you know, celebrate our traditions. Um, as a su successful entrepreneur of the Lumbee Native American descent, do you ever take the time to go back to your hometown and speak to young adults and communities um, like the one you grew up in and educate them on career opportunities and also educational opportunities as well for those that may or may not be wanting to go into STEM, but um, just to encourage them to, um, to go to college and pursue that education and those opportunities that college can give? Absolutely. I feel a great responsibility to uh, give back to the Lumbee Indian tribe, uh, to the community in which I grew up. Uh, I spend a lot of time uh, at the university, community college, high schools, uh, talking about STEM careers. Actually, I'm going there tomorrow okay. uh, for a Native American heritage celebration uh, at the community college, and the focus of the conversation is STEM. Um, so as a business owner, I have the privilege of 
determining how we invest in STEM programs. And part of our investment is you know, back into the Lumbee community and making sure that we at least share with students the opportunity that they have in the STEM field. But more importantly, just encouraging them to go to college, encouraging them to change uh, their future, and that um, knowing that, you know, that there's a lot of opportunity for them, regardless of what field of study that they pursue. So according to data released last week by the Census Bureau, there are over 26,000 Native American owned businesses and yours is one of those. How essential is it to have more diversity in small business startups and talk a little bit about the diversity within your own organization? Well, I'm very honored to have had the opportunity to start uh, my own business uh, and I'm proud of the number of Native American companies that are out there, but I think we need to um, bring to light the opportunity for folks to start their own business and um, create uh, even more diversity. Uh, they, you know, minorities have so much to offer, um, in, whether it's in the technical field or it's uh, just in, bus in business in general. And so I think focusing on diversity as a nation, creating more opportunity for those minorities to have a pathway to being business owners uh, really will change the dynamics of um, our country. Um, as a business owner, we focus a lot on diversity. We uh, are advocates of having a diverse population within our business. Uh, as an engineer, um, there's a challenge, right, to uh, attract more diversity in the engineering industry. And so we focus a lot on that through our STEM program, uh, just trying to uh, bring more women, more minorities uh, into the field so that ultimately we can create career opportunities for them. Perfect, so that actually leads me to my next question. Throughout your career, what obstacles have you faced and what advice would you give to minorities wanting to pursue STEM careers? Sure, well, um, as a woman and as an engineer, I've faced lots of challenges um, working in this industry is, is a challenge. Um, it's obviously a male-dominated industry and oftentimes women don't uh, receive the opportunity or the recognition that they deserve. Um, and you just have to be persistent, right? Believe in yourself um, and just be passionate about uh, your own career and don't let obstacles uh, get in your way. Well, thank you so much for joining, joining us today, Ms. Cummings. Is there anything else you wanted to add? Well, Rachel, I really wanna say thank you for the opportunity. Thank you to the Army for recognizing Native American history and putting this focus uh, on uh, Native Americans and diversity in general. Uh, I think all across DOD, we should spend more time focusing on diversity and ensuring there are opportunities for minorities such as Native Americans.